Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. So today I wanted to bring you guys my July book haul. I promise I'm going to slow down on the book buying, especially in the month of August, just because in September, September is my birthday. I am turning 30 and I want to go on like, uh, like I want to, what, what word am I looking for? Um, book buying ban. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to try and go on a book buying ban for the month of August just because I know my birthday is coming up and hopefully I'll get some books as gifts for my birthday or spend some birthday money on some books. So I'm going to try my hardest not to buy any new books in the month of August. We'll see how well that goes, but I'm going to try my hardest. I really am. But I wanted to show you everything that I picked up in the month of July. I picked up some things from Half Price Books, and I picked up some stuff from Book Outlet. You guys know those are my two favorite places to get books from. So let's just go ahead and get started with the haul. So the books that I picked up at Half Price Books, I think, what did I get? I got five books from Half Price Books. This is from two trips. And, you know, I feel like I just can't go in there and not buy something. So I buy something every time I go. I just need to stop going, honestly. But the first book I picked up is Roomies by Christina Lauren. I am starting to love Christina Lauren so much. Their books are so good. I just finished one for my July TBR and I picked this one up because I saw it in the store and I'm super excited about getting to this one. I've kind of heard mixed reviews on this one. Like I've heard some people love it and some people don't love it. So I'm not sure how I'll feel about this, but from what I've read of them so far, I've loved their books. So I'm sure I will love this one just as well too. The next book I picked up, everybody has been raving about this one. This is a new release for the year of 2019 and literally everybody on booktube that has read this has loved this book. So, you know, all the hype, I had to go pick it up. That is Red, White, and Royal Blue. This is by Casey McQuiston and I believe this is her debut, um, um, debut novel. So this is about the Prince of England and the son of the first uh, woman president and they like create a friendship and then fall in love I believe is what happens in this but I've heard a lot of people said it's a really cute story and they are loving it so I picked it up and hopefully I'll love it too we'll see okay the next book is also a new release for the year of 2019 I usually don't buy new releases just because they cost a little bit more but I found them at kind of good prices at half price books so I decided to pick them up and I also think there was a coupon so that's why I picked this one up but I picked up Sorcery of Thorns this is by Margaret Ro Rogerson Rogerson Margaret Rogerson she also wrote an enchantment of raiment and enchantment of ravens get your life together Ashley I haven't read that one but I was really excited about this one I believe this is about a girl that's like a keeper of a library and there's like magical things in the library and they get released or something I'm really really bad at describing books like I, I don't know but everybody has also been raving about this one on booktube and I just love this cover and it's about libraries and books so of course I had to pick it up so I got it all right the next two are going to be some graphic novels you guys know as much as I love the MCU I don't read a lot of Marvel comics but I do read a lot of DC comics so I did pick up a few uh, graphic novels that were DC the first one I got this is DC bombshells and this one I just found it was on clearance at half price books and it just looked good and Harley Quinn is in it and you guys know I love Harley Quinn so I decided to pick this one up I really don't even know what this is about I it looks like it's like set like in the 1920s or something like or 1940s or something like that I don't know it has you know the she can do it you you can yeah that kind of thing I don't know it looked cute it was four dollars I picked it up the next one I've been dying to read this one I've been dying to actually see the movie adaptation of it and I haven't seen it yet so I'm kind of behind and I, I feel like a terrible Batman fan for not reading this one already and that is the killing joke and you know I just had to pick it up it was there I had been seeing it for a while and I finally decided to pick it up and I'm excited about it I hear Joker is kind of crazy in this but he is crazy and that's why he's my favorite villain so there you go so that is everything I picked up from Half Price Books so let's go ahead and get into the book outlet haul so I have already opened my box I had to look in it I can't I can't just wait um, I will say if you guys saw my like last reading vlog and my last book haul you guys know I had some drama the last time I ordered from book outlet not book outlets fault it was my old apartment's fault but this one came in no time and it was totally fine so again it was not book outlets fault it was my apartment's but let's just see what I picked up all right this first one I am super excited about I had had this in my cart at book outlet in book outlet at one point and then it disappeared because I guess they were all sold out 
and then I found it there was like one or two copies left so I had to buy it so I picked it up and it is intercepted this is by Alexa Martin so this is a romance and it's an NFL romance and I looked up the author she actually is married to an ex-NFL player so this is basically following like her life for like eight years while she was an NFL wife so that's why I picked this one up I love football so I'm pretty sure I will love this one the next one you guys are actually have already seen in my TBR video for the month of August and that is Sherlock Holmes murder at sorrow sorrows crow crown crown I almost said crow um, but yeah it's just another Sherlock Holmes story and I picked it up and now it's in my August TBR so there you go along the lines of reading a bunch of Sherlock Holmes I picked up A Study in Charlotte. This is by Brittany Cavallaro. And I believe this is about a girl named Charlotte Holmes who's like a descendant of Sherlock Holmes. And like her and her friends are out trying to solve some mysteries, I believe is what it is. I don't know. It sounds cute. I think there's three or four books within this series already, but this is the first one. So I wanted to pick it up and get some more Sherlock in my life, I guess. I don't know. All right, this next book, I have no idea what it's about. No clue. And I think I heard someone talk about it on booktube and then I put it in my goodreads as something I wanted to read and then I saw it on book outlet so I picked it up but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Um, but that is Solace Island and this is by Meg Tilly. I legit have no idea what this book is about like no clue at all. I want to say that it's a romance but I also don't think it is by this cover. This does not look like a romance cover so I don't know. We'll see what this is about. <laughs> All right. And because I always have to buy some kind of book that has something to do with magic and witches and something or another along those lines, I picked up Wicked Like a Wildflower. And this is by Lana Popovic. I want to say is how you say it. But I love this cover. I think it's beautiful. Again, this is another one I don't know too much about, but I think it has something to do with witches and magic. And, you know, I just love books like that. So I'm sure I will like this one. It's, it's just pretty. See? All right, the last two books that I picked up, these are actually graphic novels. One of them I've already read before, the other one I haven't, but I just had to pick them up because I was just really excited that I saw them on Book Outlet. The first one is going to be Check, Please, and this is my, oh, I don't want to butcher this name, Gozi Yukazu. I probably butchered that. But this one was actually originally a webcomic, and I read this first story, the first volume, on Tumblr like two or three years ago. One of my coworkers told me about it, and I read it. And I think I've read the second volume of this too, or the book two of this. Um, but it follows this kid. Oh my gosh, what's his name? Biddy? Is that his name? Yes, his name is Biddy. I was right. So Biddy has like a YouTube channel in a way. And he bakes on his channel and talks on his channel. But he also plays college hockey. And yeah, it's a really cute story. And I love that it is in book form. And so I had to pick it up. And I really want to read it again. So yeah, I have it. All right, the last thing I picked up was again a graphic novel and again I read so much DC comics that I just had to pick this one up too and I've heard from multiple people that said if I like DC comics I should read this so I picked up the Gotham City Sirens this is volume one and I just had to pick it up because you know it's Harley Quinn and I just love her and I love reading about her so you know Gotham City Sirens this is Harley Quinn Poison Ivy um, Catwoman I don't know who that is down there but I just had to pick it up. It was on Book Outlet. Everybody had been raving about it, so I picked it up. Anything I see Harley Quinn on, I'm going to pick up, so I got it. All right, let me see if I can hold all of these. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, no. Do people still do this in their hauls? I don't know if they do, but okay. So this is my book haul. I don't even know how many this is. I didn't count, but these are all the books I picked up in the month of July. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm super excited about getting to these books. I feel like this was a really good haul for the month. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.